Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Man Mike, coming at you guys for more Atlanta Falcons news. We're going to get straight into the news. The Atlanta Falcons have signed office alignment Danny Isadora, office of alignment Brian Whitman to the practice squad, and they've released Elliot Fry, Juwan Green, David Wills. Um, also, uh, another guy that they've signed is Mike Pinnell. Um, when it comes down to those guys and um, their experience, Danny is a Dura. They're 25 games. He appeared in 25 games, six starts for the Vikings, Dolphins, and Chiefs. Brian Whitman has appeared in 40 games, 20 starts for the Chiefs, Bears, and Panthers. A quality offensive lineman with experience. So, when it all comes down to what the Atlanta Falcons are looking for at the moment. Um, these guys are just looking for guys who can get the job done. All right. They're looking for an experience, guys that have def definitely been there. Um, at this quite uh, at this moment, uh, when you talk about Danny Isadora, both those guys, um, he and Brian Whitman, um, these guys have played in a, you know, they play in both the inside um, man scheme as well as a zone scheme so uh, be easy you know plugs for these guys experience especially uh in particular um in the inside all right um if the you know uh, the rookie Jalen May mayfield continues to struggle um arthur smith is poised and you know at this moment he's poised he feels as though like these guys are going to um, continue to uh, develop as offensive linemen, Jalen Mayfield, um, you know, Caleb G McGarry and whatnot. But, you know, according to this, uh, today, you know, Arthur Smith said that being a, 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 a peak uh, offender when it comes to missed assignments and pre-snap stuff are the kinds of growing pains that could lend the coaching staff to make a decision about particular uh, position. So, what this basically means for me um, is that Jalen Mayfield is going to get another shot. He's going to get another shot as well as Chris Dahlman. These guys are going to see, continue to see time um, at offensive guard. Um, last game against the Philadelphia Eagles, there was a little bit of a rotation there uh, coming in and out of um, second down passing situations in particular the goal line situation. So they, these guys are going to continue to see action. But if the pre-snap movements, then, uh, you know, missed assignments as well as um, just the penalties. Uh, the Falcons have them. Uh, they didn't have a lot of uh, holding penalties. Uh, but when they did, they were massive uh, in third down situations. So, um, th not third down situations, but just in, um, whenever the Falcons had big plays, you talk about the catch, but not only were Mike Davis, um, Kyle Pitts getting into the red zone, the Falcons made a ton of mistakes. So, um, it's, it's going to be interesting, um, to see what happens in this next game, especially with a uh, defensive tackles like Ndamukong Sue, Vita Vey, um, those guys have a tremendous front four. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys bounce back. And they bounce back, um, they definitely will be um, uh, it's going to be key for these guys um, because this is one of the best fronts. All right, just 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 being honest, this is probably one of the best defensive line and the best defenses you're going to see all year. So. It's, it's do it's, it's do or die. All right, Jalen Mayfield, um, these guys do or die. Matt Hennessy is do or die. Things got to turn around. You got to turn around fast. You cannot continue to play the way that they played um, this past game. But again, all right, um, Mike Pinnell, as far as Mike Pinnell, Mike Pinnell is another guy, uh, defensive lineman. He played with the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, when you talk about a guy and his ability um, – this dude can definitely, um, he can really put things, uh, he can really do a lot of things. Um, uh, in 10 games with him, um, the Chiefs surrendered, all right? This is an interesting stat. The Chiefs surrendered nine, uh, 96 yards, uh, rushing game, uh, rushing uh, yards 
uh, per carry. All right. And then oh, you look at um, what he did without him, uh, without him, um, the Chiefs allowed 158 yards per game. And that's a 5.3 yards per carry. Um, but this is uh, in eight games without Pinnell. So with Pinnell, all right, these guys surrendered 96, what, 4.2 yards per carry. And without him, 158 yards per game. So he is absolutely a great run defender. He's an experienced guy. Uh, he's definitely played with guys. Uh, he played with Green Bay, so he's played with some very good defensive um, talent. And it all come down to it, man. I love this signing. Um, I want to know what you guys think about this. Continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports. Um, one last thing with Cordero Patterson, and this is another thing that I love. Um, look, man, um, Cordero Patterson was asked about Tom Brady. He said, uh, there isn't much. Um, that I can say about Tom. Everybody know who Tom is. With I'm with the Atlanta Falcons right now, and what Tom and them have going on, um, that's their business. And look, this is the perfect response. You're not with the Atla you're not with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You're with the Atlanta Falcons, and at this point, that's what he needs to be focused on. Don't continue to kiss Tom Brady's ass. Like everybody else is the like everybody else does, focus on what you got to do, how we're gonna win, how we're gonna uh, go into the next game and try to get a win against Tampa Bay. Focus on that. To hell with Tom Brady. To hell with Tampa Bay. But let me know what you guys think about this. Continue to support your boy here, at Mad Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons Nation. I'm gone, baby. Peace.